Hello, this is Red McNed, and I'm here to show you how to make mountains in Minecraft without uh, any commands or cheats and without MC edit or any of those things. This is just, you know, if you want to build a mountain on your server, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, this is an example of one of them. Um, I'm on my server right now just to show it, but I want to kind of talk about how these, uh, about making these. I think it's cool to just be able to throw up an mountain if you really want to. This one was designed to be kind of more like a uh, volcano. And it started with very flat land. You can see in there, it was an island that I flattened first. And there's a part of it right there. And then I decided to, um, do, uh, okay. <laughs> I decided to make it a new, uh, give it a new base, then give it a high point, and then build up the walls, and I ended up with a mountain. Um, I guess uh, when you make one of these, you can do whatever you want. But I think it's really cool to be able to throw up one of these. And when I started Minecraft, that was one of the coolest things. I noticed was just the crazy scenery and if you happen to spawn in a very flat place where there aren't any like I'm in the middle of an ocean and you want to put up some uh, uh, impressive stuff or it can become impressive with a a little a little help let's say because nature doesn't always provide but you can basically make a pretty naturalized uh, good randomized mountain um, then you can have people climb it or you can climb it or build bases in it um, but I want to show you guys how to make one of these this one's not quite done yet because it had a flat top and I'm not going to take the time to go all the way up there but I will take the time to show you how to make one of these it would be difficult to make this in just one go and just be like, all right, here's your material. Make a mountain. So I brought, I broke it down into steps, uh, the steps that I use. So for step number one uh, is just getting an idea of what you want. Like it, it can be vague, just big. If you want to be big, that's fine. Uh, what shape do you want? Flat top, pointed, multiple peaks, sheer sides giant overhangs is it going to be a gradual slope or are there going to be ridges you know if it's part of a mountain range a chain circle uh s shape we'll have a castle on top dwellings on the side giant cave uh waterfalls will there be trees will there be a path leading to it you know there's a ton of stuff uh and it's also worthwhile to check out uh, pictures also for inspiration. Like I do that all the time, Google Images. Um, I'll go on there and type of mountain or awesome mountain and something's got to come up. Um, so for this one I'll probably do like I don't know, I really like volcanoes. That last one was kind of, I'll have it be a volcano with a uh, a flat spot on the side of it for like a dwelling or something or research place I don't know and maybe have like one sheer cliff and then uh, I don't know about a path going up I think I'll, I'll try to put a little bit of everything maybe let's just do that so part the second part of it after you get an idea of what it is is you pick a spot um, yeah it's all about location 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 if a mountain won't come to you. you know, if you can't go to a mountain, a mountain has to come to you. And sometimes you gotta do that. So uh just so you know nothing's off limits unless you decide it is. Like if you're in the middle of the ocean and you wanna build a mountain, nothing says you can't. Um it'll be a little bit weird if it's just floating. But even a floating mountain looks kinda cool. Uh you know, a little floater or well, floaty floaty island. Or whatever in the sky, you know. So we're gonna use this spot. We're just gonna start maybe here. 
Uh, step three is the ground plan. So this part is interesting because you're basically designing the base of the mountain. And this can be whatever. Like I would avoid straight lines, but you can do that too. It's not going to make that much difference. Like uh, you could do blah, 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 just stuff like this. That could be like one side. You can have it like curve around, you know. You can have it shoot way out or, you know, and then go, go in really fast. I'm not going to delete that block. And this is going to be really <laughs> weird looking. You can go... You know, sharp corner. Um, go back in. You can go out again. You can go out really far, even if you want. As you, it's like that happened really uh, on accident. That um, that's not going to make it look bad, but. Straight lines do look kind of strange, but if they happen only once in a while, it's like, eh, whatever. Um, all right, so here's my vague map of a mountain. Um, the this my next step. I guess we're on to step four, is to pick the high points of it. Uh, this is easier and creative, but if not, you can just say, uh, I think, I think this will be one of the peaks. So. You just build a tower as tall as you think the peak will be. Um, I like to go for the sky, so I'll probably do something like this. And it looks like maybe there should be another one over here. Maybe not as tall. And yeah, that could be pretty. Eh. You know, this is what. It, this this is just kind of my you know design obviously um, maybe I'll do a uh, a third one right here just for variety or just for more than one um, so it could be okay this is gonna be kind of like staggered and maybe like the path could be like here if there's a path that winds up it um, so those are our high points um my, the next step I do the next step step 5 is I define key edges or slopes or bases or any or tops or whatever so I'll I'll explain like um this is going to be the peak of a of the mountain so it could just stand alone here or I could give it kind of a wider spot like I could say when it peaks it's going to look like that you know whatever so it'll all build up to that. Um, if I'm going to put sort of like a camp or something here, I'm going to need a, wide, a bigger area. So maybe I'll just kind of um, build something that looks kind of like that. Like so, um, I guess I should talk about what I'm doing to get these kind of shapes. Um, to make something look natural, you usually don't want to go straight line this way and then straight line this way. So what I'll do is I'll pick a weird angle and I'll go and it'll naturally kind of you know line itself up and then maybe through the angle I'll change mine a little bit or maybe I'll kind of I'll gently tap like S and D while I'm going backwards and that kind of changes my direction slightly. So I'm actually going in like Basically what I'm doing is this. <laughs> I'm moving backwards and to the right, and I'm moving my mouse to the left slowly. And when you put that together, you end up doing like a circle. Or you could do it the other direction. Everything exactly opposite. And when you're placing blocks like that, you end up getting uh, curves. So for instance, I'll go... I'm holding down the place block button and I'm gently moving to the left and backwards and moving my mouse to the right. And you end up getting a kind of natural circle that you don't really have to try too hard on. 
uh, hopefully. But that really, it's not like you're like, okay, uh, that looks good, that looks good. Uh, you could do it this way. Um, and actually, when you're in the survival mode, you probably will undoubtedly be doing that way. Um, if you are doing that, just note that uh, going diagonal almost always looks more natural than going straight. Same with going up and down. Like if you can go up at an angle on like a slope, it always ends up looking a little, a little better. But I'll get rid of this. Actually, you know, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can either get rid of it or not. Um, I hate saying just do what I'm doing because it's supposed to be your mountain. And I don't like saying just follow along, you'll get it, because that doesn't explain anything. I don't plenty of people do it. But all I will say is don't be too critical of yourself. Even if this ends up looking like a square, um, it'll, like you could always, like if it ended up looking like this, you could say, oh, I'll just knock out this piece and this piece. And that already looks a little better. Or if you're like, that looks weird. Just move that one over here. It, you, it doesn't have to look perfect right now. Um, I will fill this in though, just so it's a little bit easier for me. Also, as a rule, like I think that block was here. If I place a block and I didn't mean to, I'll usually keep it because it's just one more thing that randomizes it. I'll talk about randomization later. But it's kind of... it's Yeah, I'll talk about it later. So this is the next one. I guess I'll make this a smaller one, kind of like that. Here, I'll just do a plus sign. There. Nice and simple. <laughs> you can do that always. Um, so these are the defined peaks. These are what this, the, um, the mountain will build to. So the next part would be defining the key slopes or key edges. And this part gets a little interesting, but it's not going to be too bad, I hope. Um, so when you look at a peak like this, you think, well, normal, mount normal mountains have rig ridges. And where would they come from if they were going to come up here? I see that spot could be one, that could be one, you know, that, that. That looks like it's starting to go toward that, so I won't worry about it. Let's look at that one. It looks like it kind of corresponds with this spot. So I'm going to try to make a straight line of blocks from here to there. And the thing is, they don't have to be a perfect straight line, because nothing's really perfect in nature. But you just kind of want to build toward it. Uh, build up to that. So what I would do is you know, probably kind of work. If I was in survival, I'd do it like this. And just kind of work toward it. It doesn't really matter how many you do. You can just like do this, <laughs> or you can um, go up really fast. But you're ultimately gonna try to connect it with that. So don't go in too shallow. Otherwise, you'll end up like, going under it, which actually might be cool. You can either go up really sharp and meet it, like this, and cool, that's the side of the mountain, or a ridge or whatever. Like, or you could, uh, you could have, like, went under and then up, or even had a little overhang there. Um, this actually looks pretty cool because there's like a, a spot here for like a, you know, someone could camp out here or something. There could be something. There could be a, an entrance here to the side. So the next one I'll do is this one. I'm going from there to here. So I always start at the bottom because 
it's easier. You end up doing it in survival. Um, but you know, same thing. I hold shift also, so I don't fall off the back. <laughs> like that's a real drag if you're um, if you're building. So for this one, I I went. I took. I went really straight up, really fast. So for this one, I'm gonna go really slowly. <laughs> Maybe get an overhang going. Uh, and I'm I'm eventually building up to that point. So I'm gonna have to start angling up soon. I'm gonna start angling up really fast, actually. Oh, too fast. Whatever. Um, also, this could be like a perfectly straight line, or you could just do this. You could just go here, and then have this go straight down. <laughs> like that. And this could be another ridge. Like that doesn't that isn't gonna look bad when all's said and done, likely. So really it so this would end up being like the opposite of that. Or if you want it to curve in a little, you could just like you know, take out a section in the middle and have it go like as as long as it eventually connects up. Like that way, that's actually hanging over, and you could like <laughs> maybe have like a a cool little nestled in spot there. Um, so you basically, the long story short, you pick a point and say this is going to go to that, and then you basically make a line, however haggard or straight you want. Usually, the more haggard, the better, actually. So. Um, you can't really mess this up. Or you can have this point go to there. You can have this point go to there. <laughs> um, like this point go to there. And then do the same thing for this. So actually, I'm going to do that right now. Off camera. All right, now you should have something that looks roughly like something that might look like this. So each of these high spots, I just kind of picked a spot and try to connect to it in any weird way. I tried to go direct. Some ways were kind of weirder than others. Um, I ended up connecting like the top one to the bottom one just to give like a little bit of a line there. And this one, uh, I I put an extra location here just to have sort of like a, a spot where each of these high points funnels down to. Um, so that became one of them too, and then this goes down. But I basically, if I thought there might be a ridge or a connection spot, like this is sort of like the chicken wire of the mountain. Like if there's a corner like that was a clear corner right there then I would try to find a way to get it up to either this or this so I chose that one this is another corner I took my time a little more with it getting the slope started but it could have easily gone up really fast and then slowed down um, like here's another corner so I just kind of built that up to it sometimes when I build it up to it I just like park myself somewhere and just you know sp like spam and then like move up a little bit and then spam then like change my angle spam you know, change uh, kind of check that I'm still on target spam change the angle so that you know you can also go out like like this you end up getting interesting uh, <laughs> patterns. And when I'm close enough, I usually just build straight up. 
Oops, whatever. <laughs> so I kind of that for all of them. Uh, I didn't combine this one with that one. Maybe I, maybe I could. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I will. So I'll connect this peak to that peak. So I'll just that, then I'll move back a little. Spam. <laughs> Spam. Oh, it looks like I'm actually at the level, so I'll just go straight. <laughs> there we go. Whatever. Big ol' straight line. <laughs> um, let's see. So that's that's the framework. Um, the next part is to go level by level and um, use the framework as your guide. So you can either start from the top or from the bottom. But when you say go by level, but well, level by level, I mean like pick a spot like this and say this is the level, and you're gonna connect this block to the very next uh, ridge so of equal height so basically you want to bring that block to this block so you, you could you could do this and just go like really straight and that would be like one of your uh, one of the levels and also then it has to go over to this so it's inside a little bit so maybe we'll uh, go inside with it now this has to connect to that. It looks like it already does, so I won't do anything. This one has to connect to this. So I'll just do this. <laughs> uh, I left that step because I kind of like that. Also, like if you uh, pedestrians or anybody walking around can climb up your mountain sometimes if there's a step left over. And then this, just bring it around. in whatever way and that's one of the levels and I usually go down just enough to where I can kinda of see the top and then I do another level um, this will connect to this so you do something like that <laughs> this will connect to that over there you can decide if you want it to go out beyond the previous level or if you want to make an overhang. This thing's going to be full of overhangs, probably. Um, also, I'd point out that you can't really mess up, but if you are worried about having too many straight lines, just go over one every so often. Like every three or four blocks. We're out here pretty far, so I'm going to come back in. Like that. Um, this still has to go to this. <laughs> so this is going to be actually coming in a lot, probably. Because I really... It would be a nice little uh, nook in here. And we're still on this level. So... I'll bring it over to here. Next is over there, so and if I do that, it's like whoops, but I'll leave it. Sometimes it's cool to have an extra piece that juts out. Like if this ends up being a path, people can walk on. They'll be like, "Oh, cool! There's like a a thing. <laughs> There's a thing." So going level by level that way. Um, for the that's that's the peaks. Uh, it gets a little bit more interesting when you go into the mid level where there's several peaks. So I'll do one of those right now. I'll do one uh, at this level. So just go to the very next ridge you see. So right there. 
So I'm going to find a way to go from here. And I'll probably try to stay inside of that base boundary. Am I close? No, I'm going way out, so I need to come back in. <laughs> That's fine. It's just going to look that much cooler. And that's what randomization actually is, is just that you didn't necessarily plan it, or maybe it just looks like someone didn't plan it. Um, right now this mountain is looking incredibly random, uh, <laughs> and that's that's actually great. That's exactly what you want. You don't want a pyramid, unless you want to make a pyramid. See, that was another accident, but it'll probably look good. Um, I'm still going along that level. I'm just hitting every... Uh, ridge I can hit, essentially. So there's another one here. I'm just going to go straight across. Uh, next, this one goes all the way to there, so it looks narrow. Or I've decided it looks narrow. So I'll just kind of hug the side for this. Like, I'm just going um, right underneath I'm not building anything directly underneath these, just one, like one out. So I'm like, you can always do something like that if you're really unsure. Just kind of a constant slope. And that doesn't look bad either, really. So the next one would be just to there, really quick. Then the next one is way over there. Um, so. I'm going to just bring it over there. <laughs> Sometimes I like to throw in a little curve anyways, even if it's away from where I'm supposed to go. Oh, it's actually not. Like I could have it go like this, and then have it go like this. <laughs> as long as it eventually comes back to the next spot. So the very next ridge, just going from ridge to ridge and trying to keep the level the same. I'm just kind of spamming, I'm holding down the button and just, that's that's what spamming is, just holding it down and, like there's no more room obviously. <laughs> but that makes a pretty natural looking uh, design or whatever. And maybe I'll make this angled right at the end. And it's going to keep going. <laughs> Just keep trucking along. Now I could, you know, if this is if this is your what you want to do, that's awesome. If you want to go, uh, you know, make it a little bit crazier and do like <laughs> have it go weavy sort of, you know. There's really no wrong way to do this. Um, there's actually a YouTuber by the name of uh, Docker Lord. It's like Dark Lord, but the K and the R are switched. But I liked what he said in one of his videos: is that there's no bad build. There's just you can you just can always improve on a build. And I thought that was a really optimistic and really awesome way to look at things. Like your mountain doesn't have to look this good or this bad, whatever whatever your uh, opinion is of my mountain. Um, obviously, the more time you try to do work with stuff like this, the better it'll look. Um, where is the, there it is. So I kind of curved this one in a little bit. All right. And see, we're coming around to it pretty soon. I'm going to get really lazy over here and just like <laughs> do some serious right angle action. That's that's some serious stuff right there. Just to prove that it's okay to even do stuff like that. Um, some really super serious right angle action going on. <laughs> So serious that this whole side will be like that. <laughs> so, 
when you do like a layer by layer like that, you eventually get um, the, uh, well, you have the ridges down. So when you get the layers, you can kind of see more of the shape of the mountain and where, you know, people might be able to walk on it. And this is going to help with filling it in too. And maybe you like a certain spot, so you'll remember, hey, I want to keep this here. So you could like save it by marking it like this. Be like, this spot is going to be available just to look at the nothing, at the pig. And next hill is going to start here. So I'm going to do a sort of do a sort of like an elevation a ring of elevation whatever I, I don't have a term for this at each level like one here one here a one here I already did there and all I'm doing is just connecting it to the next peak that's all I'm doing or the closest one I can see uh, if you skip a peak like if you accidentally went from this one to this one and you didn't go to this one then uh, I don't know you just you just have another weird spot on your mountain although you do lose this nice little uh spot that's going to look good here so take your time um if you don't want any overhangs like in the bottom this is kind of a neat trick is at night you can see the shadows of everything you put above it so if you're say starting here and you don't want to cross over into any of the areas that's already stuff above it you just can build anywhere where there's light and if you want to go into it then go into the area that is not light and I, uh, I use this a lot actually okay now that that's done you get to do the fun part for a little bit. It's a little bit more mindless than the rest. Is fill in stuff. I'll tell you what stuff is. Um, basically, anywhere you put this path, if the path goes outside of it, you can just bring this straight down. I shall demonstrate. Like that. You just bring it down to the height of the other plat of this thing that you put down wherever you put it and <laughs> this is how you do it for every level if there's an overhang like this then if you want to keep it do the opposite is bring the part that's in most up And it's going to be really blocky and really square. We're going to deal with that later. But just for now, just bring all of these down. Any of the inside areas, you're just bringing all of them down. Just bringing them down. And then you're just going to bring them down. They will go down. <laughs> or up if you know like if they're directly on top of each other you could just do that that's pretty easy I am not going in any order that's probably my not good it's, it's my not good but it can be your guys is good if you do it in order or whatever you want so whatever you want. Just trying to help. But you're going to do that for basically all of them, and you're going to get sort of a chunky look, kind of like this. The step after this is to even it out. Um, oh, and go ahead and bring the uh, fill in anything that's kind of sticking out from it. Just give it a, uh, a filled in base and 
you'll basically have a bunch of ledges with a bunch of square, uh, a lot of square looking stuff. But that's okay because we're going to smooth it all out. Alright, now that I'm done, I have something that looks like this. Um, and actually, it's by by now whatever whatever design you've made, it should start to be looking more like a. Uh, uh, it should be taking shape a little bit more. Um, it's still going to look chunky, but even even as is from a distance, it probably doesn't look that bad, or even up close. But there are still a lot of levels like this. Um, but the, all these things are going to be uh, are going to be smoothed out in the next step. And I uh, I lit up the inside just so you can see, but <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, you also have a bunch of stuff in here to do whatever you want with. Um, so it's yeah, the in, the inside's pretty much done though. But the next step would be on the outside making all of this less chunky looking and more smooth and natural. Sort of like a naturalization process. Before I start doing the next part, I want to kind of take a little bit of time to talk about angles and making them more natural looking. Um, most of the time these don't really happen, like if it's a cliff or if it's the a boundary it's usually a bit more smoothed out so there's there's two ways to kind of turn angles into smoother sort of arcs one way is to start by kind of taking away from the corners like you could do something like that maybe you can take away two um maybe even three but after a while you start to notice that it does get to the point where it looks like it's an angle in there. So sometimes if you want to go even further you can kind of round it out a little bit by extending just the ends. And then you end up getting a smoother sort of a um, angle. So like if this was the side of a hill you could either do that which is taken away from it or you could add to it to make so like if if you wanted to make this the top you could build up to it um, sometimes the best way is to build up slowly so maybe you do that and then you can make it steadily faster uh, one of the things that can help for this is to look at circle templates and uh, get kind of familiar with how they circles or parabolas how they work. Uh, one of the most basic parabolas uh, just squ uh, goes um, squares the previous value, I think, or it doubles it. So you go one down here, then you go two, then you go four, then you go eight, or whatever. And you end up getting a parabola. A circle is uh, uh, well, there, there's plenty of uh, resources for that. I'll put one in the description, but uh, Plots, P-L-O-T-Z, is a pretty darn good site if you're not sure. And how I would use that is I could look up the circles um, template and say, okay, well, I want to make a, a smooth curve that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six by six. Okay, so if the circle was to start there, this the radius would be six. So a circle that has a diameter of twelve. I'd look that up, and it would tell me exactly what I would want to put if uh, if I couldn't get a satisfying result by this. But the reason why I can throw something like this down really fast is because I've worked with those templates for a while, and I know that they gradually change so if you wanted to do like a circle like that then you you wouldn't just uh, go like this or uh, or maybe you would actually I don't know but most of the time if you can get away with if, if when it comes to doubt I guess um, on stuff like this 
try to make it so that there's n not more than two of these next to each other if you're at what you think is the uh, slopey part I don't have the terminology right now if <laughs> But if you end up doing something like this, and you know, that's not terrible, but it will start to seem more, or seem less natural the more you, uh, you kind of let it continue to um, be at an angle. But I guess just don't be afraid to have, um, I guess, take off pieces until you're happy or add pieces. But I wouldn't probably start here and go diagonal. Like, I would start there. And you can get away with probably even doing this. But, it, but once again, if it looks like it's too... Uh, unnatural looking then start by taking away the very ends on both sides and if that still doesn't work then take away the end and the inside or something like that but you're always going to take away a little bit more on the sides than when you're getting closer to the middle so with all that in mind Let's let's apply it to this uh, the mountain that we're building. So let's let's say there's a section that looks like this, and you want to make it not look like this, but look like an actual mountain or a natural slope. There's two things you can do. You can either take away from this, or you can add to it. So if I was going to take away from it, the first thing I would do is try to etch away at the the angle here, and you could probably be safe to say that you could. You know, take away all of that. And, okay, that's that's a little smoother, but this is still really abrupt right here. So maybe, you know, I could take that away too. And now you, you end up leaving, left with sort of like a pyramid thing. Now that's a, that's a little bit closer to what you could want. Um... Something else that happens if you look at how hills naturally generate in the world is a lot of times this sort of thing doesn't happen. Usually they cut off the corner like that. Um, or like this. You know. And then you end up having stuff that looks more like that. So there's usually like, uh, there's, there's no extra block at the corners to frame, frame it usually. Uh, so that that ends up looking better than if you just had this, but they can both work. Um, let's see. And if you think that still looks too blockish, we could always take away a little bit of this and do something like that. And now you've got a pretty, you know, you took away a lot, but that doesn't look so bad. But there's another, the other method would be to add to it. So I would say to go for the same sort of pyramid look if you're adding to it. So let's see how, see how, qua uh, how quast, how fast I can do this. And from before, it's it ends up being the case where it looks better if you uh, take away some of this. Now this is where the uh, the angles, turning them into circles can help. Each one of these levels is like its own sort of angle or, or that needs to be curved out. So like you're dealing with a a four by six here. So this is your first step would be to make this look better. Um, I would probably do something like this. 
or if you want to go more drastic on either end I would just make it so that there's no see I guess we're taken away now but you know this is kind of both it ends up being both so from there you could kind of make a another angle for this one and you could go with the whole thing where you sort of checkerboard it um, or you could bring it out a little bit more uh, sometimes it's kind of fun to to give it a little extra you don't have to do it everywhere so you could do something like this even and then this one can be brought in even more and you take take away the ends this is starting to look like a pretty a much better uh, <laughs> version of the thing that than the one we had before so that in mind hopefully that's going to help out with this this lovely mountain that we're dealing with um, so I decide usually to add to it so this is my quick and dirty way to get your mountain looking good is wherever there's a shelf I do sort of like a pyramid fill in and I keep bringing that up and and then I go ahead and just checkerboard it and make it look a little bit more like that um, since this is and really it could be like this or it could be like this you could either go for a, a really angly section here or have it very cut off or you could even do this and just you, um, you could do this you can do this there's there's quite a few ways you can go about this <laughs> suffice it to say um, and you know I you could take that off and then it looks a lot more natural too so when you look around just do the pyramid scheme going up and you know if you don't like this angle being here you can just make it a smooth flat edge or if you do like it you can just throw in those right there and you can bring the pyramid down like this here's a here's another uh interesting thing that uh basically if you if you get this design going that's basically like a a better looking uh sort of flat wall i guess that's going down uh but this is like the this is the smoothest angled uh, descent you can get uh, for bigger section like this that you're trying to connect up I would still start with the whole pyramid thing but then be ready to take away some or or add some <laughs> that's the other thing you could always bring it out a little bit like it's really hard to say what you can and can't do um, you could do this, or you could do that. Just uh, make sure that you do something for each level. And you don't have to be afraid to um, fill in more of the inside or extend out a level, take away from one, add some to another. But if you want to go quick and dirty, I usually just do the uh, pyramid and do some do something like that like that's that's my really quick and dirty <laughs> <laughs> you 
and also T-sections like this, I go ahead and throw one down like that so that there's always some kind of an angle going on. There's no really big drop-offs. But the only thing is this can start to look pretty predictable. Like this actually looks pretty predictable to me. So what I would do to remedy that is start to almost chaotically like take away pieces like that one, that one, that one. And it's it already starts to look a lot better. Or you can chaotically add pieces. Uh, you know, stuff like that. And if it looks like there needs to be something here, you just you can throw down that, or you can throw down that. That still looks good. Although you can see there's a stairway going on right here. And a part of the randomization is making it things not too uh, predictable looking. So something like that even, or uh, that, can really mix up that stairway. So it doesn't look as fabricated. Like It looks like something could have existed in nature. So that's already looking a lot better than... Uh, like these other parts can be transformed into stuff that looks like this. Um, for overhangs, it's sort of like the same thing but upside down. So that's about all the pyramiding I can do. But I could also put in the middle right there. Um, Sometimes you could just like pick a part and maybe bring it down a little bit more than you would. Um, this would seem a bit weird if I just did this. So you can kind of help it out by maybe throwing in a couple right here, maybe there. I try to avoid stuff that looks like this by just doing something like that. And what I mean is if you end up with um, things like this, like say you have this and then you're like, oh, well, that doesn't look very natural. Maybe I could have it taper down like this. I'm like, okay, you have some good arcs, but now that whole thing... Actually, that doesn't look too bad. But this is just a little thing right here. Is If you just put an extra one on one side or the other of this T underneath it, then that just makes it, for some reason, look a lot better. Or at least more natural. So that I could be satisfied with that for the overhang. Then you just pyramid up like before. And you can either go for smooth and gradual like this, or you can go for a little bit faster or have it be. Um... Oh, here's another thing is ledges like this you start to realize, hey, this is all the same elevation if you get if you follow the pyramid scheme. So what you can do is to make this seem not so uniform is to have varying heights like take away every other one. All of a sudden that's a lot more random looking. And if it still isn't random enough, just keep doing it. Or add one. <laughs> but different elevations actually do make make it look better. <laughs> so this this is really where you get to kind of be an artist too, and really uh, uh, kind of imagine what you would want it to look like. There's a here's another strategy too: is if you have a spot right here and it's flat all the way here and then it goes up really fast if you had this as just a slice of the mountain how would you want it to be? Would you want it to be like going sideways and then drop off straight or would you want it to go like 
Uh, and then like, and then down. Or would you want it to go like, uh, and then just, you know, very smooth, like basically like what it looks like, I guess. But just with a little bit of undulations. Then this would be a good time to draw that in. So I kind of want it to go sort of oops, down and come back up a little and then come back down again. So I want that to be what that is. So then and you can do that with every side. Like I think this should be building up to this a little bit and then it can go down a little sharper. And if you really wanted to um like that's kind of how I look at each one of these planes is uh like this this row of blocks should be a uh, like a slice of the mountain, so should this row, so should uh, this row, this row, and this row. And you end up with like slices of the mountain that end up coming together to look like the mountain. I'll take away some of this. Now, see, there's different elevations. That, uh, that helps out. Ah, uh, yes, for uh, sheer cliffs like this where there's not really much you can add or subtract this is where the different elevations thing can help out because this actually doesn't look that bad but you can you know oops do a little do a couple things to make this look a little better like uh... Let's see add some different like alternating elevations stuff like that can actually give it that extra sort of randomness that looks good or maybe you could well, amplify some of them like bring that one way up a lot more and then bring this out a little bring that one up way up here <laughs> you, know, you never know what will look good yeah why not and after all said and done, at the end, it should look something like this. At least this is how mine turned out. Uh, I hope that yours filled in nicely as well. I thought you'd, I thought I'd at least show what happened to mine. So <laughs> I kept that just because I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to possibly build on. Um, but as you can see, it's not that bad. Bad. I'm I'm okay. I'm pretty happy with it actually. Uh, there's a spot for stuff there. Um, it seems pretty natural looking. Probably looks really cool from far away. But anyways, this has been Red McNed, and this is how I make a mountain out of nothing.